We're back, people, and today we're breaking out film on Noah Igbenogene, Miami Dolphins cornerback. Obviously, he's been a very big topic ever since he was drafted in the first round in 2020. People didn't really want him. Now, I want to see, will he finally have put it all together in this fourth season of his? Usually, I wouldn't really get my hopes up, and I still am not getting my hopes up for the Noah Igbenogene turnaround. I just think there's reasons to be optimistic about it. This past season was his best year. Obviously, that's not saying much, but he still only is 23 years old, which is actually crazy. There's like plenty of rookies in the league who are older than Noah. So being only 23, showing at least some improvement, and he's, he was playing in a very difficult scheme, one of the like probably the toughest scheme you could ask a corner to play in. Going to the Fangio system, I would not really want, like usually I would think, you know, Igbenogene in pure zone is not really... Where you want him when he has to open up his hips and turn and cover deep down the field he gets kind of lost but in fangio's system they don't really do that a whole ton it's usually his own coverage but with match technique so if he can you know play with like flat foot reads and make his reads simple where you only have to just read what's right in front of you i think iggy can you know find more success that way make it a little more easy on him mentally because he doesn't have a ton of experience playing the cornerback position he's still very very young if you make his reads simple, he can, you know, act on his athleticism. That's why the reports have come out that he's had a pretty good camp, like one of the better players that's been at the camp. He made some big-time plays like the interception versus the Steelers. Overall, I think you could see him have some success in this upcoming season in the Fangio scheme if he needs to play, which definitely there's a high likelihood that he ends up playing some for this team. Now, I'm not going to be overly hopeful. Like Usually after year three, if you haven't shown enough, I'd say usually that's when you kind of give up on a guy like this but he's still very young and that's probably the main reason I would still give him a chance and he's at least finally showing what he's capable of at camp so reasons to be optimistic but I wouldn't be overly hopeful about it third and ninth situation he's in man-to-man -man versus Stefan Diggs like he got asked to do some pretty tough matchups throughout the year and this is pretty good coverage versus Diggs especially you know in like a like off man situation where you're motioning across and you got to get yourself in a good position usually i would say he struggles with technique specifically in press like he is struggles a lot in press with this technique but he's a good pretty good job here staying patient staying square his base is pretty decent right here pretty good bend to him and he's just reading this and once he breaks uh Diggs doesn't get too much separation the only way this ball gets completed is by a perfect throw and he's ready to undercut it so it ends up going out stretched of his arms that's a third and nine situation so pretty big time play from Noah I'm gonna have a mix and match I'll have some good plays in here and some bad plays uh because that I'm gonna show basically all of his good plays and only a handful of his bad plays because there's there's a lot of you know not great plays but it was overall his best season because he was finally getting involved he did a much better job at getting his head around like you saw in that interception versus the Steelers about to show a two-play sequence at the red zone and this is where like he gets himself in trouble like just inconsistent technique like he starts out pretty good there with his footwork staying square he's inching back maintaining his leverage everything is good for like the first second of this and then once he's about to you know reach out his hands he's starting to get a little overextend a little over the top and now he's just bending at the waist right here and he's like almost falling backwards like he's going to try to hug him just doesn't get good placement with his hands and now he's just in a terrible position would have gotten beat here if Allen was looking to this side. Uh, that's why I just would like to see him play with a little, like, I think in the Fangio system, he's going to have a better chance of being, because he's not, like, this is cover zero down on the goal line. And we have to play a bunch of cover zero, cover one in the Fangio system. But you could still play with, you know, a lot more depth. Uh, alignment's very important in the Fangio scheme. Playing in those, you know, cover four, cover six, being like a cloud corner. But you get to play with, you don't have to open up be down the field you get to play with a little more aggressiveness at times in those match uh techniques alignments things like that and i think that's where he could really take the next step to his game if he can just you know understand the playbook of the fangio defense one reason that i think he could you know show up in the fangio defense is he actually did a pretty good job with passing off route concepts so like especially you know when they're doing like banjo you know man match type things if people switch a lot of scrimmage because they're you know cover zero at the goal line Allen ends up being forced to run this and they get tight here and he understands like once number 10 takes that sort of inside release the number two receiver works the outside he passes off pretty quickly even though he's in man gets to flat ends up taking away the quick easy throw he did a pretty good job just like mentally he struggled in most situations but in this type of situation he did show up in a play pretty well on the screen one-on-one -on -one, 
put in a very difficult situation again another third down i wouldn't say you know the technique was the cleanest he didn't you know punch with the right hand but he does a good job turning that head around i believe that's taekwon thornton too the receiver who runs a four two um for the patriots and right here he stays square initially i would like to see him you know maybe be a little more active with his feet and then once the guy releases the outside he kind of pushes out that right hand which locks your hip you want to push with that left hand to where his right hand is right now. He does a pretty good job of switching it. So he gets back in a good position. And he has good speed. He has a, you know, a natural athleticism. I think, he, you know, being a, a track guy, he also played offensively. He did a much better job of once he's in position, seeing the receiver turn his head around, getting his head back around. That's somewhere he really, really struggled with in his first two seasons. So seeing him be able to at least improve in that is something to be hopeful about. So, you know... Um, this play overall could have been better a little more clean but definitely positives to take away from it and i think going into this next season there is a chance i wouldn't say it's a high chance that he you know sort of figures it out but i think there's a chance he could be like an average nfl cornerback if he you know plays well in the fangio defense the steelers game was pretty up and down for noah he had some you know he had the big time interception in the game but he also did give up a touchdown to the uh pickens on his back shoulder to be fair, this is not his worst coverage. Like, he actually does a pretty good job staying in position here. Uh, and, you know, in that soft press man, he does a pretty good job staying patient, patient, holding his leverage here, his inside leverage. And once the guy releases to the outside, he's in a spot here to make a play on this ball. Just pick in a little more physical, dominate at the catch point, just to create a little subtle separation there at the end to get away. It's just the little things he has, like, even though he improved at the catch point, like turning, finding the ball, he still would struggle to finish. He would get over either, you know, a penalty, overly physical, sometimes get lost when turning. It's just something he can still improve on. I know I want to be positive in this video about Igbenogane because I did like him coming out of college. I just, that was before they used a first round pick on him. I wasn't like first round pick, uh, think that's what he was worth. That's, that made me, you know, go a little sour on that for sure. But I did like him as like a second, third round guy because he was only 20 years old, only had two years of corner experience, and he went against the best of the best, the best of the best in college and had some pretty decent reps. So hopefully, still only being 23, he can turn around having his best camp yet. Here's another example of him passing off a route in a third and short situation, this time in cover one. He's just oh, like on these two, I feel like he could have been a little bit earlier to be like, you know, at the best point in the situation to have like the best rep you can here so he's slightly late maybe like half a tick late but he's still there uh this is tough to see like if you're a man to man here it's tough to you know see like once you get hands on like his eyes now snap to the, where the receiver is to the inside and he's already pretty close so then he has to come off of this break off to the outside reading through to the qb seeing that he's going to throw this and he puts himself in a position right here where the only way this is completed again to the outside is a perfect throw so the ball ends up being thrown a little too high from the quarterback because he sees the corner might undercut it another good play from noah like the steelers game was very up and down uh but definitely made the big plays when they mattered this doesn't get completed but he kind of you know falls for the double move here wins initially in the rep this is his biggest problem is just sticking with things like he usually does a pretty good job in like the first part of the rep or the end part of the rep but the middle is really where he will struggle at times i think he can get a little you know panic needs to stay poised it's a third and three situation he is cover one very difficult situation for you to be in especially against a very good route runner like deontay johnson he does a good job here selling this double move igbenogany falls for it he overextends with his hands he just isn't always in perfect balance position and then gets beat over the top ball isn't a well-thrown ball so it's incomplete but just another area where he tends to struggle in ibnagay tends to do a little better on these vertical routes when he's got a little more space to work with when he doesn't have to press off the line of scrimmage it causes him to you know play with a little more poor technique overextend with his hands when he has to get hands on he can struggle at times but just out of the motion and he can you know have his he doesn't have to turn his hips away from the receiver when he can just read the receiver in front of him be ov opened up over the top and then just get there win with his speed and now once he feels comfortable he can get that head around and go up and try to make a play at the catch point obviously he doesn't get the interception but still makes a play uh basically turns the receiver into the corner there in this viking games he actually made some plays especially you know versus Thielen here does a pretty he gets pretty physical there he probably could have got called for holding but does another good job down the field uh 
I do like that he is willing to get physical, but this is a little too much. But this is a good job staying square patient once he tries to, you know, he hard attacks the inside, get back to the outside. He just gets physical. This was, is within the first five yards, so it's not like illegal contact. And now he lets him start to go. But now he's in a great spot. Knows he has help to the middle of the field, so he's staying in that low shoulder field positioning right there. Turns, finds the ball again. Another excellent rep. Uh, wasn't all perfect in this game, but he at least made some plays on the ball, which was... Uh, this is earlier in the season and up to this point it was a rarity to his game iggy does get the pass interference on this play dolphins go cover zero and they try to hit him with the double move and he does a good job for the initial part of the rep you know with their cover zero they like to you know sit on things especially when they're just sitting at the sticks he gains his depth here he does a good job in his pedal he's staying square once he sees him break to the outside he's ready to break on it but he sees that it's a double move you can already see he's sticking that right foot back on the ground to get back up over the top so perfect, perfect, and he just starts floating too far to the outside. He loses. He's starting to lose his inside leverage, and now Thielen's trying to cut back inside of the ball. He gets his hands on him for pretty much no reason, for a reason to slow him down. But that's because he put himself in a terrible spot down the field. Just he will do some things very well for like a good part of the route, and then slight mistake, and then he gives up a big time play. Just needs to clean up the mental errors to his game. Still only 23 years old so that's why i wouldn't give up just quite yet this play is pretty fun like they motion down so he becomes press on this receiver and he just bullies him off the line so he is willing to play with some good physicality he actually has some pretty good play strength to his game something that i think you know not a lot of corners had like his play strength is right there he gets physical knocks this guy to the ground and then he's already ready to you know get back out to this guy into the flat so you know not just you know sitting there admiring what he's done at least being active but it's just a pretty fun play to watch for mickey Last play that I'm break down for Noah Igbenogane just doesn't get the target here, but this is a pretty good anticipatory rep just to run this out route with Elijah Moore there. And Elijah Moore is a pretty good route runner, but just based on his pre-snap positioning, seeing he's a little tighter to this line of scrimmage, understands they like to throw this out route to him. I think he's just understood that from the film study. Sees him take that outside release, and he's ready for it. He's either expecting vertical or just a hard break to the outside, and he's anticipating the whole way. Runs there out with the receiver. Nice to see him be able to mirror and match and have a strong rep from start to finish. Obviously, the ball goes elsewhere, um, but it wasn't all bad for Miggy last season. I know like his first two seasons, there was not much to really look at and be like, oh, there's some good plays. He actually made some good plays. He played snaps. He played like between 200 and 300 snaps, which is, you know, it's like not that bad for, you know, your fourth, fifth cornerback this year with Ramsey out for a lot of it he's probably gonna have to see playing time Ramsey's out for a lot of it Needham is still on the PUP I believe uh Kohu can play outside and inside but I feel like they're gonna want him more as a nickel so that second outside CB spot is open you know like Eli Apple coming in has a good chance to you know play there play some uh, a lot of uh undrafted guys who are solid they have a lot of DBs in that backfield so there's guys who can play both outside inside uh some safety as well noah's a guy who's probably only be really to play on the outside in the fangio system so he's gonna really have to fight for that cb2 spot and he'll definitely see some playing time at some part of the year because they uh there's gonna be injuries for sure too even if he doesn't win that job so he needs to step up i would say this is like his really his last chance in the new fangio system uh going into his fourth year like you're not gonna get a better opportunity than this for a good defense if he doesn't you know improve at all i think that'd be the time to move on so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and see you guys next time peace